buying a new dress style, trying that new unfamiliar cuisine, even quitting your current job for that career change, trying out something new can admittedly be scary. Or should we say scary at first? Because while jumping into the unknown can be initially a nerve-wracking experience, but in the long run, we all know that when you be adventurous, with every sense of the word, it will do wonders for your well-being. So if you're raring to do something new, something different, something completely not you, don't be afraid to try. Maggie and I are here to hold your hand every step of the way. I'm Tarelli Garros. And I am Maggie Wilson, and this is Fit and Fab, your ultimate guide to being a better you. Reach. With tonight's Fit and Fab features, we're sure you'll be inspired to do something different for a change. We've got a feature on the different types of yoga, Manila's best kept shopping secrets, guilt free desserts, and proper skincare for your skin type. Speaking of trying something different, Maggie here tried out four different types of yoga. Yeah. Wow. All in one day. All in one day. That's right. I tried out the Bikram, the Vinyasa, the Hatha, and the Ashtanga. Kaya mo yan. Kaya kinaya ko siya. Kinaya ko talaga siya. Alam mo hanggang ngayon, sumasakit talaga yung katawan ko. Oo, workout talaga. Diba? Workout talaga. Of the four, ang alam ko lang yung Bikram siya kay Hatha. What's the difference? Well, the difference is, well, basically, Bikram is done in a heated room. Oo, oh, na-try ko na yan. While the wild. other three, wild, diba? Mm -hmm. While the other three naman, it's in an air-conditioned room. But the difference is um, the method of breathing and the method of pacing. Mm. Which is very important. Which is very yoga. important. But they have similar poses as well. Wow. So, sobrang uso talaga na yoga ngayon. No? Parang everywhere, mm -hmm. everyone's That's doing right. yoga. Because it's great for weight loss if you're a big person, mm -hmm. and it's also great for toning up your body oh. as well as relaxation because of the meditation. Yes, that I would have to agree. It's really holistic. And it's It's just a really a full body workout. Exactly. So if you guys are curious about which type of yoga best suits you, watch this. Yoga is said to be the union of the individual with the universe. While many are initially drawn to yoga as a way to relieve stress or get into shape, it also offers a host of other benefits through its stretching, meditation, and various postures. There are many types of yoga being taught and practiced today. Although all of them are based on the same poses, each one has a particular emphasis. Here's a quick guide to the popular types of yoga that can help you figure out which class is right for you. Believe it or not, there's a variety of yoga practices out there. The most common of which are Hatha, Ashtanga, Bikram, and Vinyasa. May iba ibang style ng yoga pero ang pinanggalingan niya Hatha. Hatha teaches us about the relationship between our bodies and our minds and is meant for meditation. Vinyasa yoga, on the other hand, is characterized by proper breathing, synchronized with different poses. So yung flow niya is kwan, dynamic, parang sumasayaw ka. Uh, minsan, sinasabi nila na yung vinyasa, vinyasa is uh, the art of grace. A more difficult type of yoga is Ashtanga, also known as Power Yoga, because it's a fast-paced, intense style of yoga. Ashtanga practice is very physically demanding because of the constant movement from one pose to the next. And then there's Bikram Yoga, also known as Hot Yoga. Bikram is done in a heated room. It's the original hot yoga. It's the first, uh, the first form of yoga that is done in a heated room. And, uh, the 26 postures that have been selected for the class um, are designed to work the whole body from inside out. Bikram, Ashtanga, Vinyasa, Hatha, iba iba pala yon. But how do we know the differences between them without trying them out? First up on Fin and Fab's yoga taste test, Hatha Yoga. Hatha is a great jumping point for any yoga beginner. I would say it's good for somebody na walang experience at all sa yoga. Hatha yoga is uh, good for those who are not flexible. So, mas gentle siya yung flow, yung pacing very slow, 
and they they hold yung posture na medyo mas mahaba at naka-focus of course uh, sa breathing and uh, para i-prepare nila for meditation. Since I learned ballet during my childhood days, Hatha Yoga seems quite easy for me because it has a very soft and slow movement. And for a one and a half hour Hatha session, you surely feel relaxed, detoxed, and balanced. At least I did. Masarap din yung ano um, yung Hatha as well because very very relaxing naman siya yung the music in the background and the breathing exercises. You really really get to relax and meditate and just forget about your negative thoughts. The movements in Vinyasa Yoga are more advanced, a bit faster, and a bit more intense compared to Hatha. And another meaning of Vinyasa is um, it, uh, integration of uh, the breath and the movement to create internal heat to the body, para um, mawarm yung body at magimprove yung flexibility ng katawan. And at the same time, marilis yung mga toxins sa katawan. So holistic din yung approach. Niya. The special integration of breath and movement, awareness and alignment, strength and flexibility creates a transformative, enriching and purifying balanced effect on your body. I guess the second one that I did was was fairly easy for me because it's, it's more on flexibility basically and it's, it's more relaxed. For those who want to improve their flexibility, to re-energize their body and to develop their core muscle, Vinyasa Yoga is perfect. Kung gusto mo naman na, na dynamic yung, yung approach, yung feeling, at at the same time merong relaxation at the end, at na yung, pag, uh, ang, ang, ang gusto mo is ma-relax ma ka, and try vinyasa. After doing Hatha Vinyasa, I feel as flexible as Play-Doh. Super lambot na ng katawan ko. Ngayon naman, mag-Ashtanga ako. Before trying out Ashtanga Yoga, my yoga instructor first demoed the Ashtanga movements. Ashtanga involves a fast-paced, flowing sequence of postures that gradually increase in difficulty. This yoga practice really tests your stamina and endurance. I guess this is for people who are willing to challenge themselves. I admit, I felt a little bit scared after seeing the stunt-like movements of the Ashtanga Yoga. But it didn't stop me to try out some of its basic poses. The sequence starts off with sun salutations and then a set sequence of standing postures followed by seated postures and then the finishing sequence which is mostly inversions and then rest. Some of the poses that you do, they're actually very, very similar. In Ashtanga, kasi, they use the more power, the use the power of your body, and it's more like an advanced type of yoga. So, wala pa ako doon, as in first time ko pa lang talaga siya masasubukan. But I tried a couple of poses out and um, just, you know, just to get acquainted with it and get the feel parang introductory lang siya. Bikram is done for one and a half hours in a temperature-controlled room of 42 degrees Celsius and a humidity of 60%. So you are definitely going to sweat all your body's toxins out. Bikram Yoga is a system of wellness, restoration, and rejuvenation designed to systematically stimulate and restore health to every muscle, joint, and organ of the body. As opposed to the three previous type of yoga that are a bit dynamic, Bikram Yoga still follows the basic 26 posture of the yoga. They're all challenging on different forms, depending on where your strength lies and where your weakness lies in your body. It can be intense at times. Um, it's a challenging form of yoga, but it's very beneficial for you. And the form of the yoga that we do, it makes you progress much faster than you would do. The heated room helps in facilitating deeper stretching, prevents injury, relieves stress and tension, and detoxifies the body. For those who can't take too much of the heat, you're allowed to take a breather to avoid dehydration and fatigue. Oh, but intense! As in, talagang, pagganan talaga ako. I was like, I can see stars. So <laughs> sobrang nahihilo na ako. For those who love to sweat, well, Bikram Yoga is just the one for you. So what's your yoga personality? Fit and Fab recommends Hatha for people who do not have any experience in yoga. Vinyasa if you want to improve their flexibility and develop their core muscles. Ashtanga for people who want a more vigorous and intense type of yoga. And Bikram for people who want to lose weight the fastest way.
Wow, Mag, so naka-apat ka talaga. Mm. Oh, sige, of the four that you tried, which one was your favorite? Actually, believe it or not, I actually enjoyed the Bikram. Because oh, talaga? Because it was you different. You like the challenge? I do, yeah. It was different because it was done in a heated room. Mm -hmm. So, parang ka nag-yoga na sauna. Oh, and tagaktak talaga pa. Was oh, ibang klase I talaga. I would like to have to agree na ibang experience siya. And feeling ko, after that, talaga na-workout ka talaga. Yeah, it's like, na pawis talaga. Tanggin na pawis ka. Pinawisan ka! Pinawisan talaga ako. And we always say on the show, beauty queens don't really sweat. <laughs> Pero grabe, I was really sweating. Oh, iba level naman kasi. Iba talaga. Tumayo ka lang yata doon pag papawisan That's ka. That's right. Eh. Ibang klase talaga yung intensity. That's why yoga is one bandwagon that we should all get on. And I also strongly suggest that you try all so that you can decide which yoga type best suits you. Fit and Fab will be right back. Fabulous fashion finds are all over the metro as long as you know where to find them. Go off the beaten shopping track with Fit and Fab's guide to the best kept shopping secrets in the metro. Coming up next, and later, guilt free desserts that will satisfy any sweet tooth. Stay tuned. Max, ako, I know you love to shop. I love to shop. Pero mayro ka ba mga secret places na favorite na talaga magshop na? Bulung mula sa akin. Nako pag sinabi ko hindi na secret yon. Pero you know what? Sure I love ba? shopping at ukay ukay. Talaga? Yeah, because you get great Di finds at bargain prices. Yeah, oh, oh, and it, you know, it looks as good as the stuff you get in the mall. Ako naman gusto ko mga hole in the wall, yung mga kubao, expo, oh, oh. malikina shoe exchange, meron jan. Meron jan. There are a lot of shops there that have quirky pieces. You know that shopping shouldn't be limited to just going around the mall. Only True shopaholics know where to go to find great finds at bargain prices off the beaten track. We let you in in Manila's best kept shopping secrets on tonight's Fab Guide. Who doesn't love shopping, right? Especially the thrill of unearthing cheap and chic pieces that are one of a kind. Want more of these? Well, we scoured the metro for Manila's best kept shopping secrets. The best thing about shopping in places that aren't you know, mass-produced or mainstream are that, first of all, when you go to a party or you go to an event, you can you know, be sure that it's unlikely that you'll be wearing the same thing as someone else. First on our list is 81 in Pearl Drive, Ortigas, a store that's been gaining cult fave status, especially among students for the trendy threads and adorable accessories. And we named it 81 because of her dad. He died like two years ago, narin. and then his name during the radio frequency days was 81 yung code. Na. So, feeling namin it's the best way to honor a father to name the shop after him. If you're a lover of items that make you look like a million bucks for a few hundred pesos, 81 is definitely the one. Their perennial bestsellers are their dresses and accessories, whether in store or on their website. We have for office workers, we have for students, we have for really young kids, we have for old ones then. And very selected yung items namin. It's not all it's limited. it's and it's limited. It's only two each per store or even one each per store. And we have a lot of styles and it's hand picked talaga by both of us. But if you want a more party centric wardrobe, Make Love Not War in San Antonio Village, Makati is one hippie haven worth checking out. Featuring a diverse collection of mod accessories, quaint trinkets, pop casuals, and party wear. I got the name from the era where it was the, the phrase, Make Love Not War, was coined. It's because at that time, you know, it was all about free love and no war, no hate. So that was what I was trying to achieve with the store. like. All, everybody, uh, for every personality that every human being has, you know, everyone can come here and they can find something for themselves. I have beachy stuff, so like beach wear. I have party clothes. I have casual, like girly, preppy, or like I have rock shirts, vintage shirts. Make Love Not War also offers made-to-order dresses designed by Isa herself as well as personalized hand-painted pendants. The idea of the store is we, I, I gather around like a group of young designers with different styles and house them in one place where everyone can go. With a lot of quirky pieces, Make Love Not War is definitely for the fashionably playful. A really good, I think, fashionist would be someone who can um, look at something that an, a normal person wouldn't think of wearing, but then, you know, you would be able to pull it off or work it or just style it in a way that looks fashionable. Like, 
um, those that uh, can wear something and then it's actually cheap but then people actually think that they paid so much more than what they actually paid for it. Another go-to fashion nook for such finds is Backstage in Piazza Surrendra at the Fort, featuring proudly Pinoy creations. From trendy tees to dazzling dresses, as well as the hottest in shoes, bags, and accessories, it is our own promising designers that take center stage here. Gusto kasi ng owner na makatulong sa ibang mga ibat ibang designers, lalo na sa mga young designers. Mahilig kasi siya sa fashion, so since na yung mga designers, yung ibang mga young designers wala sa lang stores, so inopen yata to for them. Apart from ready-made designer wear. Clients have their own garb and accessories designed here. For style files who love local, backstage is an absolute must-see. It's so easy to go crazy over so many stylish pieces. So to avoid impulse buying, make sure it's not a fashion infatuation, but love at first sight. Don't go shopping alone. It's best that you go with you know other people that can tell you if something you're getting is too expensive or if it doesn't really look good on you. And then also, when you're shopping with other people, you tend not to splurge on items you know you wouldn't normally you know wear every day. When you do decide to go for the occasional splurge, try on for size the high-end underground labels in Theodore's The Store at Bonifacio High Street in Taguig. With an eclectic mix of separates, dresses, and add-ons, you're sure to find something you won't regret blowing big bucks on. He is a traveler. He loves to travel around the world. He has an eclectic lifestyle. He loves adventures. All the collections that he had in traveling, he put it in the store. Theodore's is all about street couture. They carry limited edition items from European and Asian brands like Miss 60 from Italy, Jesus from Amsterdam, and Ibizu from Japan, among others. Ang maasure lang namin na most of our stuff here are limited. Usually, kami lang talagang meron. May mga shoes kami dito na with serial number na talagang ikaw lang meron. Like jackets also, may mga, may mga serial numbers siya na parang ikaw lang meron. Tsaka yung mga bags namin, may mga authenticity cards siya na... One of the kind items are, you know, they're, well, they can either be cheap, so they're more affordable, or at the same time, they can also be, some are actually pricey, but then um, those are classic pieces that you can, you know, use for many years to come. Of course, what good is a shopping haven hot sheet without vintage pret a porte? Did you know that in fashionable countries abroad, shopping for vintage can be uber expensive? Of course, locally, we have it as ukay. And thankfully, the price range lets us have as much as we want. Not so very glam, you say? This fashion vintage store at Sergeant Isgar in Quezon City will more than make you change your mind. Welcome to Uber Finds. So we're trying to establish a store then uh, we offer one-of-a-kind pieces na Ano, na parang they get the branded clothes for a lower price. Kasi yung mga brand, branded clothes namin, ang prices namin is only 10% of the original price. Uber Finds offers vintage, vintage-inspired, and brand new clothes. Most of which are surplus designer pieces from abroad sent by Mike's friend, who owns a vintage store in Germany named Uber. This explains the very wide price range from dirt cheap to the thousands of haute couture items that are nevertheless a mere fraction of the original price. The items are literally just one of a kind, so Uber Finds offers alteration as well as styling tips to help clients form perfect fitting ensemble. Maganda nga sa amin is for the clients, for the customers to really browse the merchandise kasi they would they wouldn't know kung ano yung makikita nila, kung ano yung price ng merchandise na mabibili nila and kung ano yung brand. Fabulous, isn't it? Now you've got backstage passes to the hippest finds. Enjoy your spree! Up next on Fit and Fab, say goodbye to delicious dessert deprivation. Fit and Fab shows you where to satisfy your sweet cravings without worrying about the calories. And later, know your skin personality and how to take care of it. Stay tuned! Max, do you know how much I love dessert? In order to allocate my calories, I'm willing to skip the entire meal and have dessert. I don't have a sweet tooth, but I must admit, I love cheesecake. Oh, I've seen how much she loves cheesecake. Yeah, but I'm 
mean, hindi ako mahilig sa chocolates oh. or sa mga cakes. Well, good for you. Kasi for us, like me, ako, I love these sweets talaga. Alam ko yung saying na a minute on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. Mm -hmm, that's ang right. Ang niyang kainin. Ang daling mag-pack ng pounds. Pero when you lose it, ang hirap-hirap talaga. Hirap talaga. But we've got great news for you ladies out there who have a serious sweet tooth. Because nowadays, dessert no longer has to be a simple pleasure. Why? Watch this. love desserts. For me, a good meal is one that is topped off with a creamy, sweet, delicious, and filling ending. But our favorite desserts, like cakes and ice cream, often come with loads of unwanted calories, sugars, and fats. What's dessert without the cream, eggs, and sugar? Sugar, sugar! Whipped together, these sound sinful indeed. So I would say that desserts bring out the child in every person. So naturally, I recommend the uh, mag dessert. It's just that you have to make the correct choices or the healthy choices. While they may be our taste buds buddies, they are surely our waistline's enemies. Basically, the calories that uh, would uh, be contributed by ice cream or cakes, around 50% of that is contributed by sugar. A teaspoon of sugar would contain 20 calories without any vitamins or minerals in it. So if a person consumes a lot of sugar, then he would be taking in a lot of calories. That could also lead to obesity or being overweight. We might seem oblivious to the harm that devilishly tempting slice of cake or that mouth-watering scoop of ice cream may bring. But snap out of the temptation and you'll realize that they do take up much of our daily caloric allowance. Some would range from around 300 to 450 calories. But there are some na maraming icings plus nuts and yung mga toppings. Uh, they can go higher than 600 calories. Good news for sweet lovers like me, there are now numerous sweet shops offering healthy dessert options. Join me in my sweet adventure as I take you to dessert places that are absolutely guilt-free. For ice cream lovers, you can now sink your teeth into these cool, creamy but healthy ice cream alternatives. A single scoop of ice cream may give you at least 350 calories, but there are other frozen desserts that will give you way less. If you have a sweet craving for ice cream, why not try these sorbets? This is sorbet. It's uh, the healthier choice. Walang, wala siyang mga daily, daily products, meaning there's no milk, so it's healthier. I would say that uh, sherbet and sorbets would be a healthier option than ice cream. One cup of ice cream would give you around 330 calories to about 350 calories, depending on flavor. For sherbet and sorbet, these would only give you around 220 calories per, per cup. Here, you can even enjoy your sorbets just like your regular ice cream. They have sorbet creations such as sorbet smoothies, scoops of sorbet with fruits on the side, and sorbet banana split. Another ice cream alternative is the frozen yogurt, which we found at Yogurt Frost. Our Yogurt Frost store here at Robinson's uh, Place, Manila, has two main products. The first one is a Yogurt Frost Original. That's our original recipe for our yogurt. Uh, whatever the taste of the fruit is, that is the taste of the yogurt. So it tastes like ice cream, but it's really yogurt. Yogurt is considered a miracle dessert because of the many health benefits it gives us. People who have special needs, like people who have cancer, they cannot tolerate sugar. Uh, it's really very bad for them because uh, cancer eat, feeds uh, on sugar. So this one, they can, they can take this, especially uh, we do not put any sh table sugar in it. Yogurt contains yung mga lactobacilli component that aids in the digestive system. They are good sources of yung uh, good bacteria needed in the intestinal flora. Uh, and some yogurt preparations contain lesser calories. But if you're not too fond of regular yogurt's semi-sour taste, guess what? Frozen yogurt looks and tastes just like ice cream. You can enjoy them in cones, in cups, or even a la mode. You can even add sprinkles, chocolate chips, and other colorful toppings too. Yum! But the best and healthiest frozen yogurts are the ones topped with real chunks of fruits. Each small cup of frozen yogurt will give you only 70 calories. 
A big cup goes for about 130 calories, still way, way less than its other frozen counterparts. Plus, you get all its health benefits. I'm in Secret Recipe. Here I found what they call health cakes. These cakes are high in fiber and low in calories. Now that's great news for my sweet tooth. Secret Recipe is a very unique concept. Why? Because basically we offer a full range of food. Uh, what we say always to people is that we offer something for everyone at any time of the day. Because our food spans from Western and Asian food down to full line of gourmet coffee and beverages and a full line of cakes also. They have 20 different cake creations, from cream cakes to cheesecakes. These desserts really look delectable. The real treat in Secret Recipe is their health cakes line. They offer two kinds, the high-fiber cheesecake and the trans-fat-free cream cake. It offers health benefits such as you know, high-fiber ingredients and then uh, ingredients that were used to basically monitor and maintain the, the levels of the sugar, etc. This high-fiber cheesecake is no ordinary cheesecake. It's composed of high-fiber grains, seeds and nuts like sunflower and sesame seeds, hazelnut, oat, wheat, almond, bran and pistachio. Lasame and cheesecake, but it's more dominant in the taste of the nuts and the toppings. Niya. And if you listen to the high-fiber na, na bars, it's a lot of fun. It's not too hot, so you won't get away from it. Okay, so next, as we move on, let's try their health cakes. This is their trans-fat-free peach cake. So I personally, I'm a fan of peaches, so very high expectations. Let's try it. Asa niyo malaking peach. There you go. Hmm. Hmm. I like it. Lasa ng lasa ng peach, and it's a cream cake. Na may konting sponge, so tama tama lang yung mix ng texture niya. The trans fat uh, free peach cake is actually a cream cake. Uh, we use here non dairy cream. And then also um, fresh um, peaches and then uh, apricots for the cake. Eating these health cakes is a piece of cake, especially for our waistlines. They make desserts less sinful and definitely more enjoyable. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Knowing that I won't pack on the pounds after every bite takes away the guilt I usually get from eating regular desserts. But nutritionists give us a few more reminders about dessert eating. If you really crave for ice cream, if you really want to eat cake, then it's okay for as long as you just take in small amounts, half or one-fourth size of it, depending on your target. No? If you want to lose weight, then siguro tikman mo na lang, no? kalahating slice or one-fourth of a slice. Desserts are like the crescendo to a majestic musical arrangement. It's that unexpected finish to an already great meal. Thankfully, with these healthy sweet options, our sweet tooth can now enjoy desserts without the fat, calves, or guilt. Now that's what I call sweet. Learn how to customize your skincare routine for your skin type to bring out your fab side. Coming up next... Normal, oily, combination, dry? Have you ever wondered what your skin type really is? Bring out your fab side by figuring out what your skin personality is and how to take care of your type. Each girl is different. And our skin, it's got different needs. Caring for it is not as simple as grabbing any old product on the shelf. It all boils down to getting to know your own skin. That means finding the answer to the question, what's my skin type? Each skin type has its own set of characteristics. To determine your skin type, listen up and check which of these descriptions fit you. Normal skin is the skin we love to have. It's clear, even toned. Um, there are small pores. You know, um, it's um, healthy looking. Dry skin, it's more prone to peeling and visible flaking. The skin feels tight, sometimes even rough. And at an early age, uh, you might develop fine, fine lines. 
At the other extreme is oily skin due to overactive oil glands. Oily skin, it has visible and larger pores, um, shiny, and then more prone to blackheads and whiteheads or comedones. It is also common to find characteristics of more than one skin type in one person. Combination skin, it's usually a combination of either oily and dry or oily and normal skin. So the oily skin is on the T-zone area, that's your forehead, down to your nose and your um, chin. And then the dry or the normal area is your cheeks. There are some whose skin is more easily irritated than normal. Sensitive skin, it um, tends to react more you know, when you uh, apply uh, skincare products or even changes in temperature or pollution, they get blotchy or turn red. How does one care for one specific skin type? Basically, dermatologists recommend a simple regimen to cleanse, tone, and moisturize. But the important thing is to use products that are made for your specific skin type. We at Fit and Fab checked out three skincare brands to find products for each type of skin. Skin food is basically food for the skin. Skin being the largest organ of our body and the most exposed of all, we should take good care of it by directly feeding it with the food that we eat. For skin food, nutrients from fruits and vegetables make up a good part of their products because they truly believe that natural products make the best beauty. For example, skin food uses the properties of parsley, mandarin, and tea tree to address the different concerns of oily skin. This is for oily skin prone to uh, breakouts. Uh, it has mandarin also as anti-inflammatory, so this is very, very good for oily with sensitive skin. This is the tea tree line, which is very good because it is a three-functional um, line. A tea tree to disinfect, and then it has a willow herb to soothe the redness and soreness, and we have the alpha hydroxy acid to remove the traces of the pimples or acne. At the face shop, one will also find natural ingredients in their different skincare products. Basically, the face shop really believes in naturalism, so our products are uh, made from natural ingredients. Tea Tree also makes an appearance in their products for oily skin. For oily skin, we have what we call the quick and clean anti-acne line. So this is formulated with tea tree oil. So tea tree oil is um, very famous for its antibacterial properties. One of the face shop's products directly addresses enlarged pores brought about by oily skin. It's called the Pore Minimizer Skincare Line. So it's actually a three-step um, combat against enlarged pores. So the first step is that it actually deep cleanses your pores. And then after that, it constricts and tightens your pores. And after that, finally, it conceals. Remember this tip. Choose oil-free skincare products if you have oily skin. One can find just as many products for dry skin in the market. Also in complete sets from cleansers, toners, and moisturizers. Skin Foods Moisture Rich Avocado and Potiron Olé lines are just some of their offerings for dry skin. The Face Shop offers anti-aging products which people with dry skin might be interested in. Those who are suffering for dry skin are also those who are starting to have a bit of maturity in their skin tone. This is called the Flebite Collagenic Skin Care Line. So this is our prestige anti-aging line. So it's formulated with natural collagen complex, which actually helps to replace our natural collagen. So what it does is that it improves skin elasticity and improves moisture retention. Sensitive skin is a little trickier to care for. Consultation with a dermatologist is highly recommended so that you can find suitable products for you. Skin Food offers its sea vegetable line for combination skin. Sea vegetable is good to tighten the pores also and to rebalance the skin. Um, it has also the deep sea water that clarifies the skin. For those who have sensitive skin, it's best to look for products that offer very mild care. The Face Shop offers this in their Calendula skincare line. Sensitive skin is a little trickier to care for. 
consultation with a dermatologist is highly recommended so that you can find suitable products for you. But if organic isn't your thing and prefer a more personalized range of skincare products, go for VMV Hypoallergenics. They offer products that treat skin conditions ranging from the simplest to the most severe. Browsing their products, one would notice that each one is supported by a guide that gives you the skinny on their products. The first customer of VMV is always going to be the most desperate person. This person cannot use anything else. Even if they had more money than Rockefeller, they can't use most things on the market. So when they finally find a product they can use, they're not the simple kind of customer that's looking, oh, this is kind of cute, let me try it. They're really going to look at all the specific ingredients. They're going to look at all the specific um, additives, what they can use, what they can't. That's the first customer of VMV. Of course, that's not to say that their products are not for people with more common concerns. They offer a straightforward line of products intended for the common skin types. The main one we have that is the simplest is Super Skin Care, which is pretty much the products you see here. The reason they were created is really to make something very, very simple to address the most basic concerns of dry, oily, and combination skin. They're really customized to your needs. So for example, for dry skin, you would tend to be worried about early signs of aging. You would tend to be hypersensitive, have a lot of allergies. So the products are specifically made for that. For oily skin, you would tend towards acne, a lot of shine. Uh, signs of aging might happen later, so everything is designed to sort of manage the acne more, sustain the elasticity that's already good in the skin, and keep the shininess down. We found that VMV Hypoallergenics Super Skincare line is as simple as it can get. It's three steps. Um, and the nice thing is what we've done is in the sunscreens, they're already SPF 15. So you don't have to do an additional step for protection. It's cleanse, which everyone needs to do anyway. Tone, which is basically where you get the treatment and the actual management of the problem. So the photo aging um, management or the acne management. And then the moisturization and the sunscreen element. It's just three steps and you get so many benefits already. So if people are really, really lazy, it's the best system. Whether you're choosing products for dry, oily, or combination skin, remember these tips. Read the product label. Choose products that are validated to be hypoallergenic, meaning they're free of allergens, and non-comedogenic, meaning they won't clog your pores. Put a little effort in understanding your skin and you're one step closer to finding the perfect skincare for you. Good luck, girl! If you guys really want to try something new or something out of the ordinary, why not try a makeover? Care of us. That's right. If you'd like a complete free lifestyle makeover, well then write to us at fedandfab at gmanetwork.com. Include your name, address, contact number, and the reason why you need that makeover. We'll be selecting our lucky viewer in the next couple of weeks, so mail that letter now. Once again, I'm Tarelli Carlos. And I'm Maggie Wilson. See you all again next week only here on... Fed and Fab! Fab.